Good afternoon. Eva, so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Eva, you want to go outside? Come on. All right, Sarah's making one of my favorite dinner things. Let me show, let me show, let me show. We call this Greek lemon potatoes. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna smother it with this like butter and lemon sauce and then um, a bunch of oregano. Don't mind my music. And I'm gonna do the dishes because we kind of did like a 50-50 battle the other day where like I did like 50% of them and then yeah. I'm gonna pick up the rest now. At least the dishwasher is clean. Yeah, I gotta empty it first. Oh, ho, ho. Glorious. So it has like half a stick of butter, whole lemon juice, pepper, oregano, garlic, minced garlic, and a whole zucchini and some cherry tomatoes. And deliciousness. Yeah, I like to cook with the Italian flag. So I'm also making some mushroom gravy. I will link the recipe I loosely used below. Um, Used it at Thanksgiving and Christmas time, and we really liked it. I didn't have any vegetable broth, so we did use a little bit of almond milk and water. So I spunked it up a little bit with soy sauce. Um, but so far, it's it's looking good. We're gonna have this over lentils. Look at this whole meal. I have not cooked like a three-piece meal in a very long time, and I'm excited about it. We need to stop the vlog and open up a restaurant. That was the best meal Sarah's ever made in her entire life. Really? Yeah. I want to go eat the exact same amount. I want to be Thanksgiving full from eating so much of it. It was so good. So I am painting my nails, but the only nail polish I have is Sparkles. Yes, hey, what? Are you painting your nails? <laughs> I've had to redo this clip so many times. Um, it's definitely supposed to go over a color. Maybe I'm gonna do like three or four or five coats. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing. Wait, Wait are you painting your nails? You're gonna get bakala. This is bakala. Does anybody else say that? Bakala is a fish. Bakala means fish in Italian. But it's a certain kind of fish. Yeah. Good for smacking behinds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so for some reason, like. Instead of saying, like, you're going to get a spanking, my family says you're going to get bakla. Was there ever a spanking? I'm just saying, like, that's, like, a, a normal thing that parents threaten their <laughs> children with. I'm reading, um, Becoming by Michelle Obama. Ah! Just kidding. I'm, ri I'm reading The Ride of a Lifetime. And so, I'm reading this Bob Iger book, and Ben Earhart keeps telling me, he says... I get to the point where Bob meets Steve Jobs and then I finish the book in 24 hours. I'm waiting to get to that part. Um, I've read about two pages in the past week. I just like keep rereading the same sentences. <laughs> but I feel like today's gonna be a big day for Peter Brookhart because we're gonna, I'm reading this book and we might go on a drive and listen to the whole entire Hamilton's musical because of the announcement that got made today. And then it hit me, Bob Iger, Lin-Manuel were in that announcement Bob Iger, Lynn Manuel. Oh, full circle. In my life. Yeah, and if I'm gonna do five coats of nail polish. I can get some reading done. Yeah. I'm a really slow reader. If you didn't know, ooh, I'm chopping, chopping you up. <laughs> if you didn't know, the announcement was July 3rd, Hamilton is coming to Disney Plus. Original cast. Filmed. Set, set, 17, 1781. All right, Ben Earhart, I love you, but you are terribly wrong. I did not get hooked when Steve, when Bob Iger met Steve Jobs in this book. I'm already hooked when he became the head of ABC Entertainment. But we are going to go on a little adventure now. It's already 10 or almost 10. It's a little bit of a late night, but um, I think slowly Sarah and I are going to start ramping ourselves back up to having those longer days. Right? Because eventually we'll be back in the parks. Having a blast. Not that this isn't a blast right now. This is. Just a different kind of a blast. How many times did I just say blast? Because it felt like a lot. But was it a lot? 
Ready to go have a blast? You ready for some driving around? We're just gonna drive around. Yep. Jam off maybe to park Hamilton. somewhere, listen to music. Yeah, maybe maybe park. Just we were look thinking at the maybe city lights. at Lake Eola. The city beautiful. The city beautiful. I'm Mayor Buddy Dyer. Dyer. Welcome to Orlando. We hope you enjoy your vacation or welcome home. Whatever you guys say. <laughs> your voice is pretty spot on. I could be mayor of Orlando. Just saying. Well, I grew up next to one mayor and then the, the mayor before him lived behind him and I always thought my dad would become mayor. I'm young to be and hungry and I'm not throwing my shot. Fun fact, Peter and I saw this. I will put in a clip of that vlog because we actually vlogged that day. I surprised Peter the day before his birthday or yeah, on your birthday. On my birthday. Oh yeah, it was so cool. <laughs> Is it, is it, is it? Ooh! Alexander Hamilton biography. You could open it. Hey! These are Hamilton tickets. Yeah. Look at when they're for. 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. Today? Today! We're going today. We're going to Hamilton today. At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. So we're rocking the train. We're gonna get the train that takes us downtown at about noon. The show is not until 2. We're gonna grab some lunch. Did you expect this would be our day today? No. Ha! I, 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 I'm so happy. Holy smokes. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Yeah. Oh. I always thought my shot was overrated. Like it was always used in the marketing and blah, 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 blah. And this was the first song. I mean, it's the third song. Um, but when they all walked towards the audience at the end, I cried. And I was like, this is amazing. Goosebumps. So if you can't tell, we're stopped with headlights in front of us and we're in a drive-through because we're letting you in on a little secret. We're getting McDonald's french fries. We've been indulging in McDonald's french fries, kind of frequently. I keep on saying I'm not really having pregnancy cravings if I just want to eat everything that I've always loved anyways. But you, you're you having a higher frequency of wanting them. Yeah, but I That's also have sure. a higher frequency of like Peter being like, yeah, let's go get them. So we're just gonna eat Ben getting french fries. And the reason it's like he said it was a secret is because McDonald's fries aren't fully plant-based. They are actually fried in beef fat. Um, so there's not actually any meat, but there was meat in the way that they were cooked. And we get this and barbecue sauce and that's it. Did you see that? It's a light up frisbee. There's two peeps out there playing light up frisbee. I wonder if they'll let me come join their... Friendship? Peter yeah. loves frisbee. I love a good frisbee. So we've just been like chilling, listening to Hamilton, looking at the lights. What are you doing? Look at this weird thing. You see this tree thing? Look at this tree sculpture. Reminds me of like Pandora. We almost lived in this apartment before I moved to Winter Park. I was looking at a, a unit here, a studio. Um, also, well, the beer is supposed to be really good right on Lake Yola, and a lot of people have told us to go there including our friend Rhino. Uh, we just haven't gone there, but it looks open. See a couple people in there. Look at it go. Oh, it stopped blasting off. But... We don't want. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> art. What is art outside of Chicago? Here's the Walt Disney something or other. Amphitheater? And that looks like the PT one. Knowing history has its eyes. What? 
studies and I practice law. I practice law. Bird work next door. We're at the point where I always film when I'm running here on Park Avenue, but look right there. The corner of Park Avenue in New England is my plate, my chocolate place. Peter Brook, chocolatier. <laughs> chocolatier. Peter Brook. Act two. Ooh, but we're not going to listen to the whole thing before we no. <laughs> get home. <laughs> we, right? we got through a lot though. We did. The yoga mat is being used by the hit guy. Wow. I'm going to go do yoga in the second bedroom. We're like a trendy, healthy fitness couple. We are, but like, we're just new to the game. I literally just started doing stuff yesterday. I'm looking at my videos now. Eve doesn't know how much she's going to hate this. She ran that way when I rolled this mat out and she's going to hate me doing it. It'll be gonna interesting to, you. to see she's who, gonna hate she, you doing it. who she Who's she going to bug? Last time was at 2 in the morning. She just ah, did that. Mm, mm, mm. But then when I go on my back and do some like crunches, she comes in and like doesn't care that I'm doing a crunch. I'm like, who? And it like hits her and she's like trying to look at my face. I'm like, who? Hit her. Still look at my face. Do you know who bit the edge of our uh, our coffee table, Eve? You know who did that? Evie, it was you, girl. It was you! <sighs> my foot was hurting today when I woke up. It feels a little bit better now, but still a little sore. Like the top of my foot, I think I have like a broken, I think I broke it when I was younger and it just like easily refractures maybe, I don't know. But skate or die. Skate or die, right, it's my skateboarding days. So I did two hit classes and those things are terrible. I did my yoga and then I did some, what are they called, Cha not chair sits, right? Oh they are, I think that's what they're called. Basically I'm trying to get my legs. Strong. Strong, my core strong. Pushing that baby. Yeah. I need to go I'm take tired. a shower. I forgot that you would have to take a shower. It's yeah. getting late. I'm real sweaty. Alrighty, it is the 12th. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Never follow somebody else's path unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path. Then by all means, you should follow it. Ellen DeGeneres. So I'm just going to sign off while Peter's in the shower. So when he's done, we can go to bed. It's almost 1 a.m. Jeesh. Um, again, we're being strong for our dear, dear friend um, and holding ourselves accountable and just being strong and feeling good. Um, we love you guys. You know who you are. Um, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.